also known as Liz Doll Games. And I'm gonna be tanning today and I'm gonna show you how I usually do it. Today I'm gonna be using this self tan. And this is gonna be my first time trying this, so we're gonna find out together if it's good or not. But I've seen quite a few people use this and it's looked really good. So hopefully it works for me. So I'm gonna like tan my butt and my chest off camera, then I'll do everything else on camera and I'm going to be putting maybe powder once I have put it on after that way it doesn't rub, rub off on my shirt or just comes off my skin so. alright so I already put some on my chest and it takes like a few sprays and I have never tanned with a big tanner like this before where you kind of see the dark, like it looks black and it's kind of scary, but I guess it comes off once you rinse it off in two hours. And it says you can leave it for longer for darker results. But since it's my first time trying it, I'm just gonna leave it on for the two hours and see how it looks. And then I'll decide from there if I want to leave it for longer later when I tan again. But so far, it seems like you can kind of spread it pretty good. And I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be putting the same amount in each spot but it is definitely a little more work than my usual tanning usually I would just pump three pumps of the tanning and then just rub it and that would probably get like a whole entire area and I would just do that but Hopefully this is worth it. I mean, I'm pretty sure. You can already tell kind of like the difference in my skin and the black. Like, I don't know if this is how dark it's supposed to be. And if it is, it's pretty dark. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of get the rest of my body and I will be right back. Alright, so I'm looking like a mess. So right now what I have going is I just put baby powder on my chest and my butt because I put on my bikini back on just so that I can just finish off putting the rest or tanning the rest of my body. Um, and that's what I usually do with my other tanning, my other style of tanner that I do. I just, like, if I need to put clothes on, I usually just put baby powder on that area. I'm actually getting this spray everywhere too, which is kind of frustrating because I hate having the clean stains, tender stains. It's the worst. I look 
insane. getting ready for the gym but I wanted to show y'all my tan I didn't leave it longer than the two hours yesterday because I had to run some errands and I wasn't about to walk out the door with the black all over my body <laughs> between my body and my face which I didn't tan my face but pretty much you can tell the difference so this is the one that I used and this is the one that I usually use so I want to say that this bronze tan was actually really good if you want to get like a very natural looking tan the downside about that tanner is that like you saw it's very messy you have to keep it on for more than two hours if you want a deeper tan and you can't just walk out the door with the tanner like you'll be looking all kinds of crazy oh another thing is that 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 one didn't have any smell at all and that's like a big plus for me because I hate tanners that smell like freaking biscuits like I cannot stand tanners with smells so I'll definitely be using that again and see how it goes after leaving it for more than two hours. And definitely we'll be doing it whenever I'm not, I don't have any plans. <laughs> and then this one, the one that I normally wear or use, um, is very convenient for on the go speedy tan. It's a mousse. so. Pretty much like I have the pumps down so when I'm in a hurry I'm just like Ch -ch -ch. and I use the same mitten as the one that I used for the other one and it's just really easy because it's like so silky smooth and it's like mousse so it, it goes on like perfectly. The only bad thing about this one is that it smells really bad. It smells like, I don't know, like mixed between biscuits and grandma. <laughs> I don't know some grandmas kind of smell like too much so I don't know about your grandma so uh, what else is good about this one um, so when you put it on when you rub it on it's kind of like a it has like an orangey tint and but you can still go out and run errands like I literally put this on like around 3 in the afternoon when I shower after the gym and then I wear it all day and then I go to sleep and then I wake up the next day and I shower and I take it off. So it's really good. It doesn't rub off anything. But again, I'm very like, I'm, I'm so on it. I usually put baby powder on my body. That way it doesn't rub on anything because it will. And, um, but I'm pretty sure you can rinse it off like after a while. You can rinse it out after a couple hours and it'll be the same thing. This tanner is like is that type of self tanner that gives you like an orangey look and it's not that bad it's not as bad as some other ones but um, it does leave kind of like a hint like of, of like an orange um, and it does look good on me sometimes but it sometimes it doesn't like if I don't have a tan at all like if it's winter time 
and I'm super white and I put this on then I will be like super orange so maybe just put it on and leave it on for a few minutes maybe hours and then see how it looks kind of test it kind of work with it but so far I'm gonna say they're both pretty good this one's really good it's never let me down except for you know whenever I'm like super orange and this one is seems to be very natural so I'm gonna go ahead and try this more and see if you know it does go a little darker when I leave it on longer I'm so glad that it didn't turn out to be like super dark like orange or black or dark brown like I'm pretty like I'm about to like I'm about to compete or something but yeah that's how I self tan and now I have two products to use usually just had that one but now I have those two to work with and yeah hope you can try it at home and see how it looks on you I, I cannot stand not having a tan like I have to have a tan because then I just I don't know I, I when I'm pale or I'm like super white I just feel so like dehydrated even though my skin is hydrated it just looks dehydrated <laughs> but yeah but I will see y'all on my next video and leave some nice comments no mean comments and like this video and all my other videos if you haven't gone check it out but yeah I'll see y'all on my next video see ya